Hey, good evening, good evening, good evening. How's everyone doing this evening? How's everyone doing? I know I'm a little late. I do apologize, but you know, stuff happens when stuff happens. Good evening, good evening. I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready. I hope you have I hope you have your paper, your pen, whatever you're gonna write with. And because we're gonna dive into some vision boards. We're gonna dive into some vision boards. Um we're going to dive into the vision boards. Those that have done vision boards, that's fine. If you have not done a vision board, this is the opportunity for you to learn, for you to learn about vision boards. How many, uh, give me a heart, give me a like, whatever you want to do. How many people have done a vision board before? How many people have done a vision board before? Just in case y'all wonder what I keep doing, I'm on my personal page and I'm on the uh, moving forward empowerment page as well. I want as many people to hear this as as I can get So how many people have done a vision board before? You can say me you can give my heart a like how many people have done a vision board? I you can't see it, but I have a few of them over here that we're gonna that I'm gonna go over with with you but a vision is nothing but what you've seen from your dream. That's what your vision is. Your vision, what you have seen from your dream. What you have seen. What God has shown you from the dream that you have. He's not going to show you the whole picture. He's going to give you piece by piece. Now, your vision, it's up to you to make that vision come to life. Somebody say, gee, how, how am I going to do that? Glad you ask. I'm glad you ask. You... Get it out of your head and on on your. I say paper. Y'all might have paper. Y'all not might have may not have a board, but get it out of your head first. You can put it on paper. You can put it on paper. Then you can move it to your board. And I'm gonna just begin to show you what uh, one of my boards looks like. This is this is my Y board. This is my Y board. Why, why, why? Why do I do what I do? Why I work hard as I do? And as you can tell, this is my, this young lady right here, that's my why. That's my reason. That's my reason for doing what I do. And I'm, gonna, I'm just going to read that for you just for a minute. It says, <laughs> Xavier Alicia Smith is the reason I work as hard as I have since August 15, 1994. I strive to show her every day hard work pays off. I also work hard toward my dreams and goals and have shown her what having a dream and working toward it looks like. This young lady is my wife. How many of y'all knew that, that she was my wife? How many folks knew that? And I also have on here what Gigi stands for. God fearing. God-fearing, inspiring, giver, and influential. G-I-G-I, G-I-G-I. And I have also defined coaching. Catching others always comfort, confidently help, hopeful. See, I want to catch you hopeful. You got some hope because, you know, hope and faith go, go, go hand in hand. So that's one of my boards. And when I first started doing, uh, doing vision boards, my personal one, not teaching, but when I first started doing my own personal vision board, I happened to be looking at a Steve Harvey episode. And he said, make your board personal. Make it personal. Now for me, that means plaster some pictures on your board. That's what that means to me. Plaster some pictures on your board. So when somebody looks at your board, they won't be able to say, well, whose board is that? Because, you know, if my pictures, my daughter's pictures on the board, that, that board belongs to Gigi. Now, don't misunderstand. Xavier has a board as well. She has two or three different, different vision boards. And some of the things we have been able to check off. But the other things we are yet working on. Because just because... You start a vision board doesn't mean that everything you put on there at that time is going to come to fruition right then. It may take a year, may take two years, but as long as you have your board 
up on somewhere in your room, on your door. Mine are right here just for demonstration purposes, but they are usually in my room. They're usually in my room. I have a board that says who GNX Consulting is, who GNX uh, Transformation, and and um, it just defines what I do, define who I am. So I just want to encourage you, if you haven't done one or you need to update your board, please go ahead and update it so you can be able to check things off of your board that you have accomplished, that you have accomplished. Those goals have been reached. You'll be able to check them off, check them off, check them off. And it doesn't have to be a fancy board. It can be a just a regular board as this. Just a regular regular board. Regular board. And as you can see, this is one of my one of my boards. This is the latest one, I believe. And it has everything defined. As you can see, you can you can tell whose board this who whose board this is. It's no it shouldn't be no question in anybody's mind whose board this is. So I have the, the avenues to success. My different different uh, things that I do. <laughs> uh, uh, podcast host, a talk show host, a consultant, an author, a book coach, a motivational speaker, a life coach, a teacher, a preacher, an evangelist, a woman of God. I have all that on this board. And I can say most of this has been checked off. Most of this has been checked off. So when your things have been, when you when you start checking things off of your board, the next thing you need to do is redefine, redefine your dream, redefine your goal. So you never stop dreaming. You 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 never stop putting your dream, your vision together. You never stop that. That is something that's going to be an ongoing process. So that I just want to give you the beginning of. A vision board if you need some help doing your vision board or if you want it to be defined a little more I'll be glad to assist you in that area I'll be glad to assist you so don't hesitate to contact me don't hesitate to call inbox you can put a message under this video however you want to do it if you would like me to assist you with your vision board I will I'll be happy to do just that so for the night we are done for the night, I guess y'all surprised, huh? That's all. That's all I wanted to do because I did a real live, a uh, longer live earlier. But I just want to talk to you about your vision board because your vision is still possible. Your dream is still possible, regardless of what may be going on in your individual lives, what's going on in the world. You can still be successful at what you put your mind to. You can still move mountains. You can still have the faith, not only the mustard seed, but you can have the faith that continues to grow. Whatever your desire is in your heart, it is possible. You can have it. You can have it. Ask God what it is that you're supposed to be doing on a daily basis. Ask him. When you, when you design your vision board, take it to God. Take it to God. He might want to change some things up. But he will give you the instructions and directions for your vision board, for your life. We have to just listen to God. Listen to God and see what he says about it all. Y'all be blessed. I love you. Y'all have an awesome day. Remember, God loves you. I love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Be blessed. Be blessed.